Hi, my name is Cameron with RCN Technologies. Uh, I am the Regional Account Manager here for the Southeast. Today we are going to be unboxing CradlePoint's R980. This is their newest line of enterprise 5G solutions uh, for businesses and government agencies. So today we are going to go ahead and unbox this, show you what's in the box, and uh, show you what it's, what it's got on it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, Obviously, you have your beautiful new Ericsson branding uh, as Cradle Point is now a part of Ericsson. Uh, Cradle Point is a new product line for Ericsson. So let's go ahead and open this. Here on the top, you're going to have your setup information. Very simple, easy to use. Scan the QR code to get logged into your NetCloud. Uh, after that, you pull this back, pull another cardboard piece back, and let's go ahead and take that out of the way. And here is going to be your cradle point device and the included GPIO cable. Uh, typically these devices are uh, purpose built for wiring into vehicles. So it comes standard with a GPIO cable to make sure that it's getting constant power when it's needed uh, and configured that way. So let's go ahead and take the cradle point out. This is the R980. As you see, beautiful new design. Uh, it's got a nice heat sink across the top. On this side right here, uh, you're going to have your Wi-Fi antenna hookups. So whether you're using stick antennas or you're using a external antenna, um, this is where those would connect for Wi-Fi. Uh, as you see here uh, in the middle is your WAN and your LAN port. Uh, either port is configurable. So if you have use cases outside of uh, the normal, uh, you can utilize either of these as a LAN or a WAN port. Uh, here you're going to have a USB accessory feature, so if you have third-party accessories you need to utilize and connect, uh, such as serial or anything utilizing USB, that is what that is for. And then this is where your power is going to be hooked up through either the GPIO cable or an AC power supply that you can buy separately. Uh, and this button down here is going to be your factory reset button, uh, pretty straightforward. And then moving along to the front, this is the front of the device. These will be where your LED indicators are for power and connectivity to the cellular carrier and NetCloud. Moving on to the back side of the device, um, all four of these leads, two on the left, two on the right, are going to be your cellular leads. So if you are currently utilizing a, an older cradle point device or another product and you have a uh, two by two MIMO antenna, you would need to be looking at upgrading your cellular antenna infrastructure um, as the new 5G devices utilize four cellular leads versus your standard two. Uh, but this is what enables uh, connection to the newer 5G spectrum out on the market today with your major carriers. In the middle here is going to be your GPS hookup. So if you are utilizing this for an in-vehicle application or a mobile deployment, um, that is what's going to enable GPS access. With advanced licensing, you can do snail trailing with GPS or uh, with standard licensing, you can also utilize a more simple form of GPS capability within NetCloud Manager. All right, here on the last side of the device, you are going to see the SIM port. Um, so within the SIM port, there are two SIM card slots uh, for a dual carrier use case. So. If you're looking at having a backup SIM card, the Cradle Point is capable to switch carriers uh, when it's needed. If you're in an area that does not have sufficient coverage um, and maybe drops, it can automatically switch to the second carrier. So let's go ahead and open up the SIM port and show you what that looks like. And the screws do stay in there, so you can't unscrew them too much, which is nice. So as you see here, you have SIM slot one and SIM slot two. Um, these use the 4FF SIM cards. Um, so if you go to your, your carrier, um, they should give you multi-punch SIM cards that have this size built into it. But if they don't, um, just request a 4FF SIM card and that is what fits in here, depending on your carrier of choice. And just to add to the SIM door, it does have SIM door open protection. Um, so if there is a case that somebody's tampering with the device and they take the SIM door off, it will not operate when the SIM door is removed unless you have it configured otherwise. On the bottom of the device is going to be your device information. It'll show off your default password and serial number, as well as the MAC address, the IMEI, and the SSID here below, uh, as well as the, the part number, the R980. 
And below the device are gonna be some mounting accessories. Um, so uh, this is just some screws and bolts depending on your mounting use case. Um, just a nice little accessory they add in the box for you. And then the GPIO cable that's included in the box. Um, if you take off the sleeve, the GPIO cable has your four leads here. And then on the other end is going to be what plugs into the power port on the cradle point itself. And that's it. That is what comes with the Cradle Point R980 device. Um, the Cradle Point R980 does come in one, three, or five year license terms. So if you are looking at getting one of these, uh, that is the uh, NetCloud license term that you choose when you purchase the equipment. Uh, and it also comes with advanced licensing that enables some enhanced GPS features and extra security features as well. Uh, with some advanced routing capabilities. If you do have interest in selecting an R980 uh, as your connectivity solution, uh, please reach out to RCN Technologies. You can reach us at 865-293-0350, or you can reach us at our website, rcntechnologies.com, and fill out an inquiry form there. We look forward to seeing you the next time. Have a great day.